Hello, welcome to the West Anway YouTube with myself, Mark Harlow. Today we're going to be talking about the latest headlines that are doing the rounds at the moment in the press, uh, all obviously West Ham related. Uh, we've just had a recent update actually from XWH employee um, for our patrons only. That's um, for the recent podcast has come out. So this is going to be more focused on actually what's in the press. And this is basically a feature that stems from our website, uh, Paper Talk. So the big one doing the rounds at the moment, and there does seem to be a little bit of traction to this, is um, Zinchenko from Manchester City. No, the Ukrainian has basically been told, I think, by Manchester City that he's free to leave, although they are also happy to keep him, which is quite interesting because we have been linked with him before. X has stressed before that this is a uh, someone we're quite keen on. Um, and, that's, and, that, and this has been going back now for quite some time. So he said this about a year ago. Um, so I do think there's actually some substance to this. I do think that there is an interest, certainly from David Moyes' point of view. Um, and what's quite interesting about this, as I've said, is that Manchester City, although are happy to let him leave, if it, if that's his wish, um, they're also happy for him to stay as well. And I think that just goes to show how highly regarded he is by Pep Guardiola, which is, um, you know, it's a big statement, you know. And I think this sort of, the, and that's the kind of player we want to be linked with, you know, highly regarded, um, highly sought after. For me, I think these are the kind of signings that we as fans want to see the club make, um, you know, highly regarded, obviously high in quality. Um, it's, it's a real interesting one. I mean, he's 25 years old, um, which is, you know, perfect, really. And if you consider, you know, he's got Premier League experience as well, um, playing at the very highest level. What's quite interesting about it is that the Mirror are reporting that the player actually wants to play in a more midfield role, like he does for his country, um, which I think is something apparently that's attracting interest from Moyes as well, um, basically filling in that void as a sort of winger um, that we're, we're looking for. I actually think it's an interesting one. I mean, he's quick. He's good at delivery. I just think he's someone that would really fit into our system very well. Um, and like I say, I think these kind of players that we're getting linked to, all right, it's, as I say, it's only in the press, but it does seem to have a bit of substance to it, this one. This is the sort of player that we want to be attracting at West Ham. I think this is where we want to be making that step up um, and bringing in that sort of higher calibre of player. I mean, for me, this is the kind of player we should be going for. Absolutely. If, if he is available, if, if the press are correct, that Manchester City are allowing him to move on, if that's, if that's what he wants to do, this should be someone that we're in for. Um, Rumours are at the moment that it's between ourselves and Arsenal, the kind of front runners at the moment who are showing a real keen interest. Um, so it won't be very, you know, with Arsenal on the scene, it won't be easy to get his signature. But you'd like to think that we've got, a, you know, a half decent chance. Um, I just think it would be a statement sign and something that would show others at the club, the likes of Bowen, Rice, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a decent um, acquisition. Um, someone I just generally think that we should be going for if he is available. At the moment, the fees, I mean, they're only sort of rumours at the moment in the press, but at the moment I'm seeing 40 million being quoted, which I think is quite high. For me, I think he's a more of a 25, 30 million pound player. That's my, my general feeling on it. Um, be interesting to see what you all think about that. So, yeah, do hit like, hit subscribe and please add your comments. Um, also, as well, I did want to say that we're going to be doing a giveaway soon for a signed ball. So please do hit the like and subscribe um, on, on our videos and soon we'll be doing a draw um, so someone can win that, uh, which I'll give you some more details about soon. Another one that we did touch on last time, um, however, it does seem to be gaining some traction as well, is um, Brozier of Chelsea. Um, obviously, at loan, on loan last season at Southampton, did very, very well. You know, just for me, he looks like the real deal. You know, someone, especially with his age as well, I just think is a, a huge attraction there. Um, there does seem to be some substance in this, um, in, definitely in terms of interest. Um, X has revealed previously that we've been very interested in this player um, for quite some time. Um, for me, I just think that if you look at a player of that that standard, that that quality, again, like the Zinchenko, it's 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 a statement. It's a it's it would show that we're going in the right direction as a football club. Um, I don't know how straightforward this would be to get this over the line. I, I, there will obviously be more competition for his signature. I'm seeing that um, the press are reporting at the moment that it's going to be Nottingham Forest, a very keen, um, which, I mean, there are, you know, no, no disrespect to Forest at all. I'm delighted they got promoted. Um, but I would say that if, you know, if it's down to attraction, we should be beating them to his, to his signature, in my opinion. And the rumours in the press at the moment regarding this, um, this sale of, of Brogia is around about 25 million mark. Now, if that's true, if he is available for that amount of money, then it's just a no-brainer. We should be going all out to get this man's signature. Um, I have read, though, um, a few things in the in the press now coming up. I think it's Give Me Sport. Um, I've, I've just recently um, put out some news about this. And I've said that um, Thomas Tuchel wants to 
assess him over the um, pre-season period and to see where he sort of fits in at Chelsea. Now, I'd like to think that we, offer, if we offered enough money, that might not happen and we can get him in sooner. We don't want to be in a situation, though, where we get to the start of the season and we haven't brought in a striker because we're still waiting on whether Chelsea are going to sell. I think we need to be acting fast in this window. We want to be going and really starting the season with pretty much a full-strength side. Um, I appreciate some deals can take a little bit longer, but I just think with this Brozier deal, we need to be sort of making our move quite soon, I think. Um, and, sh- and hopefully we will. I mean, there, do, there does seem to be some substance in it. Um, my gut feeling is that there's going to be a lot of competition for his signature. I just generally think there will be. I can't just see it being between us and a couple of other clubs. I think there'll be quite a lot of interested parties. Obviously, Southampton as well um, will be interested. So it is an interesting one. Um, as I said, X has revealed previously he is a target. It does seem that he's not. He's a bit more than that. I think he's just rather than being on a list, I think he's quite a, a, a high up on the list. I think more is his um, preferences. So, yeah, it's a real interesting one. Another one that came uh, seems to be doing its rounds as well, which we brought up on the site, was um, Delefeu, um, formerly at Watford, now at uh, Udinese. Now, he's. it seems that this one's not got much to it, in my opinion. I think there is interest. I know that X had said previously, and he has said this over the course of the last year or so, that um, we've had an interest in this player. Um So I do think that there probably is some slight interest. But my feeling, to be honest, is that it's... It's more just that's all it is, just a bit of interest. I don't know if there's much substance in it. The press are reporting anyway that he wouldn't be interested in coming to West Ham. I think Napoli is his, his chosen club of choice if, if, he, if he is to move on. Although his current club have actually come out and publicly said that he's not for sale and he won't be going. So I don't really think there's much in that. Um, for me, um, I'm pleased to be linked with the likes of Zinchenko and Broja. I think these are the kind of players we want to be seeing West Ham linked with now. And, and I think now as fans, because of what's happened in January, when we were, let's be honest, so let down. I still believe that us not signing anybody in January and not freshening up the squad really knocked us badly. I really think that we would have been firmly in the hunt for top four throughout the season had we not had we had acquired the players we needed. So, I, you know, I don't want to look back on it and keep dwelling on that because you know we don't want to, you know what's the point in doing that. However. We, I think for me, and I think a lot of others as well, is that we've kind of taken that and accepted it, being what it is, on the basis that we invest well in this summer, that, that we've got the money there now to spend. Um, so as as good as it is to see us linked with these players, and this is all it is at this stage, it's, you know, I'm not giving you any exclusive news, anything like this. This, this all comes from X, as, as we know, for the, via the Patreon on our podcast. But in terms of what's coming out in the press, um, we are now starting to see that we are getting linked with um some real top players which is great but for me i want to see a bit more action behind it i want to see some credible bids going in some proper movements that we are we are going to get these players you know we we, we know that we're in a strong position now west ham you know we've got european football again for a second season running you know top seven finish which is amazing um we go, we've got a 60,000 seat a stadium we're, we're in london i mean there's so much attraction to west ham now and we don't want to let this pass us by. Let's be honest, the competition next season, the Premier League is going to be fierce. It, I mean, it should be. When you consider the likes of Arsenal are going to be investing, it seems. Arteta is obviously going to be given money to build, continue building his project. Conte at Spurs, absolutely is going to be given money to spend. Newcastle, obviously, are going to be spending money. On top of that, you've got the likes of Wolves. Leicester are going to want to push on there after a relatively disappointing season for them. And then, obviously, all the other bigger clubs. So, for us to maintain our status within that sort of top six top seven bracket we've got we've just got to spend money this summer we've got to invest it wisely and don't get me wrong i i look i'm fully behind david moyes and and i'm fully behind the fact that we we carefully select our players and it's based on personality as well and work rate and and everything else that comes with it so I, i'm all for that but at the same time we want to be linked with and we want to be signing top players and, and to do that you've got to spend money i mean at the end of the day that's just paramount we've got to we've got to show some muscle show that we mean business and um, we want to send a message to the rest of the league to the rest of the other clubs that we are here to stay um so yeah i mean i'm actually quite pleased with it i mean i, I mean and we need to bear in mind as well that the window is even open i believe it opens next friday um so that'll be interesting as well to see what we've kind of got in place. I'm hoping that that's going to be a trigger that when we got a few deals over the line, hopefully we are going to get deals done soon, but we know what West Ham are like. Um, we do like a deal. David Sullivan likes a deal. Um, and I just hope and pray that we're not going to be spending this transfer window 
dragging out deals, trying to get the best, trying to save a couple of quid here and there. I'd rather just go out, sh- show some ambition, you know, show, spend some money and show the fans and show the rest of the football world that West Ham actually mean business. We do want to stay where we are. Um, oh, it's paramount. It's absolutely paramount for me. So, yeah, it's an interesting one. So Zinchenko, delighted with. Um, you know, I really hope there's, uh, we can make a move for him. That would be, be fantastic. And Brozier as well, obviously, a, a top target as far as I'm concerned. And we should be, if he is available, like the press are saying, for the fees that they're saying as well. I mean, yeah, no brainer. Got to go for it. So, um, yeah, thanks for listening and uh, stay tuned. Speak soon.